The ARPA, or Advanced Research Projects Agency, by Mr. Westfall. Let me take you back in time to the year 1957. Tensions amongst the democratic U.S. and Soviet Russia is high. On October 4th, 1957, the Soviets launched the Sputnik 1, beating the U.S. to what would be known as the Space Race. As the result of this loss, the president at the time, Dwight D. Eisenhower, creates the ARPA, or Advanced Research Projects Agency. The ARPA was an agency of the U.S. Department of Defense. The purpose of this agency is to ensure that the United States avoids further technological surprise. By collaborating with academic, industry, and government partners, ARPA expands the frontiers of technology and science. During this time, computer scientists were envisioning an intergalactic computer network. Many of these ideas conceived by these scientists encompass features of a modern internet. In the year 1969, the idea became a reality with the connection of four university computers. As shown by this image, this network connected computers in universities in California and Utah. The ARPANET, or the first internet, was born. This network took advantage of a new idea called packet switching. Packet switching was conceived by British scientist Donald Davies, Americans Paul Barron, Lawrence Roberts, and this goofy looking guy, Leonard Kleinrock, or Kleinrock, something like that. The idea of packet switching goes like this. Information is broken up into smaller pieces and routed over the internet until it reaches its destination. Once it reaches its destination, it is reassembled into a whole piece. The theory of packet switching is still used today. The internet is moving out of cyberspace and into small space. Leonard Kleinrock, or Kleinrock. Throughout the years, ARPANET has contributed a lot to the advancement of communications. The development of TCP and IP protocols in the 1970s by two geeky nerds named Vint Cerf and Bob Kahn made it possible to expand the size of a network. This expansion led to what we now know as the internet. This presentation was made by Mr. Westfall. Please do not sue me if I use your images. Is this thing still on?